boundaries probably need Jesus. So, you never sleep at night. I assume you do sleep, right? Uh, I sleep at work. And what exactly do you do? I'm a middle school teacher. That would explain why my nephew invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on magic beans. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? Oh, boy. Let's see who else we got. Caller, what do you do for a living? I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? Um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any uh, movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any screenplays yet. I see. So, have you done any other kinds of writing? Well, just some outlines right now, but I've got some really good ideas for some stories that are crawling around in the old noggin. <laughs> so, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer or actor or director? Don't you think you're doing a disservice to those who actually make their living in those art forms by deeming yourself something you're not or not even trained to do? Um, well, I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Well, wouldn't that make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. Line two, are you ready for a menage a trois? Sure thing, Deb. And would you please state what you do for a living? I'm a personal assistant for a producer at Parasite Studios. Perfect. Do you read a lot of screenplays? Don't get me started. Well, for our writer on the phone, here's your big chance to pitch your screenplay. Is that okay, line two? Sell me, dude. Well, um, okay. So, uh, my story's about this guy. You don't say. Okay. Uh, okay, so this guy, he's, well, he's like a, an FBI agent, but, you know, he doesn't really work for the main FBI. And, uh, he's got this partner who's new and really cute, but she's also a really good agent. And they're like a sign to this bizarre case where people are being killed in really strange ways. Uh-huh. And then, like, something happens and the girl agent gets kidnapped by the killer. Something happens. Yeah, well, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but... Like, the guy agent notices, like, how the killer seems to know everything he's doing, like, one step ahead of him. And then there's this kind of... You know, weird chase scene, and then, like, we find out that the guy's got two personalities, and, like, he finds out in the end that he's the killer, and then uh, he's kidnapped his own partner. Well, line two, what do you think? You're going to option it or not? Uh, writer dude? Roger. Uh, Roger, would you like my professional opinion? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, Wisconsin. Okay. I want you to get all your stuff together, and then I want you to move back to Wisconsin. That's a little cold, line two. That's Hollywood, baby. Maybe it's just too good for you. Uh, no, dude, it's not. Break it up, you two. Final thoughts, guys? Wisconsin. I have some other things I'm working on, too. I got some pretty good ideas for video games, I think. If anyone's interested in hiring me, my number is 213... Sorry, Roger. The only one that gets to give out their number on this show is me. And if anyone was thinking of asking what I'm wearing, that number again is 323-KL5-KTRK. We're going to take a short commercial break. But that doesn't mean you can stop thinking about me. Don't go anywhere, boys. Does your penis always seem to be getting in the way? I got the last of the groceries, honey. I just need to close the trunk. Whoa! One more nail and this birdhouse would be as good as new. Yo! Oh! I'm sorry, sir. This dressing room is for women only. You don't have to let this happen to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Fred Tuck. Don't let your penis interfere with the quality of your life anymore. I have performed over 300 sex changes in my career, and not one of my patients has ever asked for their tackle box back. Come to Tuck Sex Exchange in the next month, and I'll give you a free estimate. Don't let your peace interfere with your peace of mind. Tuck Sex Exchange, located off Beverly Drive. Look for the sign with Toothy, the surgical saw. Tired of sluggish internet access? Mom! The Internet's all slow again. I'm not your mom. I'm the creature that evolved out of your mom. Sick of unwanted spam. Oh, oh, another email message from my old college roommate, Rod Uges. Oh, oh, my. Computer problems make it frustrating to log on? Error 432, Network Access Remote Server Memory Allocation Assessment Table Exceeded. Hard Drive Reformatting will now commence what? Looking for something that requires no logons, no unwanted email, coherent sentences, and no technical problems whatsoever? Read a book. Books. The Original Internet. Terrorists are prepared to destroy the largest dam in America. Again. 
Then she bomb goes off. This Hoover will be caught with his panties down. And only this renegade cop and his ex-wife's manicurist stand between destruction and unexpected love. I'll just file you as D O A. This summer, all bets are off. The heat is on. The fix is in. The dogs are out. The game is up. The chips are down. The stakes are high. The odds are low. The danger is huge. The payoff is slim. Friendships will be made. Rules will be broken. Wrongs will be righted, and no unturned stone will be left. Uh. Get ready to be turned inside out and upside down. Hoover Two Hydroelectric Boogaloo, the best damn movie you'll see this year. When I'm grinding the reverse Poindexter 540 to Ollie northbound the contraband, I can't think about being bloated. That's why every morning I down a pound ground, the gentle extreme laxing sports drink. Because when you're pulling a wicked skunk cross 720, you don't want anything to slow you down. Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned into the Deb of Night on KTRK. I'm your lovely hostess. Feel free to fantasize about me all you want, but please don't send any more drawings. The lines are all full, so why don't I provide some release? Line three, you're speaking to me. Up, Deb. And what have you been up to tonight, caller? Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm getting up. I'm messed up, Deb. Woo! What's the occasion? It's a weekday. Touche. Hey, Deb. <laughs> hey, Deb. <laughs> hey, Deb. Yes, General. Oh, man, I had this amazing idea. I, oh, you ready for this? All night. Y- you know all those problems we've been having in the Mid East? Yes, those damn Virginians. Okay, okay. So, like, I figured this out, right? Okay, okay. So, if we want peace in the Middle East, think about it. What makes people peaceful? So can this sense of mela? And what brings people together? Pizza. So, like, think on this. For like half the cost of one of those um blockbuster bombs, we could like buy enough pizza and enough herb for like everybody over there, and then like, bam, instant best buds, man. Just say no, dude. Um, an extra pepperoni. Hey, you guys take credit cards. Moving on, line four. What's keeping you up tonight? Deb, I'm about to reveal something that I'm putting my life on the line. But the people, the people of this city and this country and this planet, they have the right to know this. Do you understand? What's the word, Gomez? This is serious. There are a lot of organizations that would do anything in their power to keep this a secret. I don't doubt. Deb, Deb, this is really serious now. Can I finish? All right. Everyone knows they've got cameras at every stoplight so that the government can keep tabs on our comings and goings. But did you know that they then sell access to their databases to the Illuminati, who has been using that information to compile a list of the most frequently traveled routes and then opening new locations of their well-known chain of coffee houses in the most profitable locations? And did you also know that they use those funds to suppress fusion and solar power? It all makes sense now. Well, they, the Illuminati. Control all the world's energy, and because they monitor all of our energy usage, they can tell who is not watching television, and therefore know who is not receiving the subliminal messages that they send to keep the sheep putting their money in banks and away from their secret headquarters, A.K.A. Wyoming. Amazing. Anything else that you've turned up lately? As a matter of fact, and again, I shouldn't be talking about this, but I believe it is everybody's right to know that recycling is a myth. All they do with those bottles and cans is collect DNA samples from your saliva so that they can clone you and train your clone to assassinate you and assume your identity should you go poking your nose into the whole global warming business. Thank you, Gomez. I hate to interrupt this mentally stimulating conversation, but the people who keep me chained to the console at this radio station, in my underwear no less, want you to spend money on this stuff. Preparing for a business sales pitch, but don't know how to sell your ideas. Try virtual meeting. So, if we divert advertising away from expensive television spots and spread it around full-page ads in the leading men's magazines, we can. That's an idea, but here is what I think we should do. But I didn't finish. Yes, that's a good point. But everyone listen to my idea. But I think that's true. However, I don't think that our target market will be willing to accept such a radical approach. Listen to what I have to say on the subject. Are you ready? Good. This is a winner. And virtual meeting doesn't just help with meetings; it can also prepare you for debating your ideas on the internet. So, 
I think if the Democrats are going to have a chance at the office, they are going to have to embrace the more liberal sect of the voter bloc. Shut up. Charred. I majored in political science. I think I know what I'm talking about here. Laughing out loud, you are so gay. Virtual meeting, the only meeting preparation device to own. That was a good idea, which was mine originally. Charred. In 1984, a generation of children were introduced to a toy that became an instant classic. Twenty years later, that toy is transforming to blend into a whole new environment. Hey, Bob, right? Mind if I borrow your stapler? You want staples? Get some of these, Execucon! Nah! Take control of the noble office pots as they wage slave their secret war against the evil Execucons. Hey, I'm gonna be here pretty late. Do you mind if I get a cup of that coffee? Graffitron, transform! <laughs> coffee is for closers, office bot! Collect 30 different corporate robots as they battle for workplace supremacy. Look out, Optical Mouse Prime, it's cell phoner. I've got your number, employees, and you're all getting called in this weekend. Office bots, transform and clock in. Deformers! You live. You die. And sometimes, you get brought back to life. <laughs> this fall. I'm afraid. I can't see too well these days. Do you think you could go to the nearest village and pick me up a loaf of bread? Bread! Good! The new horror RPG from Troika Games. Bread! Oh, I can tell you where the bakery is, stranger. But before I do, would you mind picking up my little girl from the lake? You are the monster. Ah! Or are you? If you want to enter this bakery, you'll have to defeat me. And this torch! Frankenstein, breadlust, coming soon to a PC near you. Game! Good. Still awake? Something on your mind? Give me a call, 323-KL5-KTRK. Ask to speak to the cute one. Hey, all you night owls. Is the human race going crazy, or is it just me? Seems like all you hear is bad news lately. Anybody feel the same way? Feel like the world's cracking at the seams? Why don't we make that the topic for tonight? And if that doesn't work, you can all go back to calling in with the usual pervert stuff. Line 5, you're on with the Deb of Night. So tell me, society going to hell or not? I think so, Deb. And why is that? Well, for one, I lost my job a month ago, and our management gave themselves a bonus for it. I'm sorry to hear it. And just the other night, I happened to look out my window here in Santa Monica, which used to be a nice neighborhood. I saw the local diner where I've been eating my breakfast for years get shot to pieces. Can you believe that? Like, no one cares about anyone anymore. I hear it. And my neighbor's boy. She, she's been using speed since he's in junior high. Steals from his parents. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, you know, there was a time when this sort of thing just didn't happen. You know why? Why is that? Well, because a man could beat a woman and children when they got out of line. They didn't even have to be blood. You could just slap the little bastard. <laughs> ah, the good old days. Why don't you hit the activity room and reminisce some more, Grandpa? Anyone have any musings that don't end up in assault charges? Yeah, hi. Whoa, here's a rare event, a female perspective that isn't my own. Go ahead, sister. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to say that I agree with you for the most part. Things have really started to suck in the last few years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like I can't see myself bringing a child into this world, you know? I hear you. Except if it was like Ash River's baby. Oh, he is so amazing, Deb. I would, like, populate a minivan for him. Oh, my God. Yeah, but what are the chances of that happening? I don't know, but I'm, like, at his club every night. <laughs> okay, but back to the topic. Oh, and, and this one time, I was working as a waitress at this award show, and I served him a drink, and he told me, thanks, beautiful. And there was, like, a moment, definitely something there, you know? Sure, girl, but tonight's topic isn't Ash Rivers. Yeah, well, that's probably really good, because all of you other females better stay the hell away from him. You know what I mean? 
I'm glad to provide a public forum for the whacked out of both sexes. Let's try to stay on topic, shall we? Death of night. That's me. I recently found out I was a vampire. 